What up, world? Back again. It is the Country Rap Report. Yours truly, Vic XL. What up? It's your dude, Spike. Y'all know what we do right here. We cut the short shit short, and we give you our opinion, our reviews, our expertise on some of the genre's best and worst country rap videos. Now, every artist you see on these reviews, you might not consider a country rap artist, or they might not consider themselves a country rap artist. But guess what? We figured it would be a good idea to introduce them to the genre and introduce the genre to them. So before you sit back and get in your feelings saying Spank and Vic don't know what they're talking about, we do. All right. Also, when you watch the Country Rap Report, sometimes you will not get reviews. You'll get AMAs, which is Ask Me Anything. That's where you have the opportunity to interact with us by inboxing us your questions about the music industry or whatever you want to talk about, and we will answer them. Kind of like Dear Abby. If you're over a certain age, you know who Dear Abby is. And if you're not, then... Kind of like Dear Kevin Samuels, I guess. I don't know. Him dead now. Huh? Him dead now. Yeah, him dead. <laughs> him dead dead. <laughs> or you might get exclusive interviews with some of your favorite artists or trendsetters in the genre. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 10 a.m., you don't know what you're going to see, but you're going to see some excitement. All right? So make sure y'all tune in Monday, Wednesday. Friday, 10 a.m., and become members of the gang gang and chat live with us or a combination of us or one of us or right. all three of us. Right. Or Coca. <laughs> or, <laughs> or a representative of the gang gang. All right, so let's get into it. We got videos, we got videos, we got videos. So here we go. We're going to start hold off. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to amend your list. Amend? I need to amend your list. One of these videos we can't talk about. And I'll tell you which one. The Millie Red. That's what we're starting off with. That X, one. Okay, we can't talk about him because it's wow. a Jack Beat. It's a Jack Beat. It I'm not even, that. Let's talk I, about it. How are we going to get? I don't even want to give them. I'm tired of people with Jack Beats. Well, I don't even want to give them time on screen. No, norm, no, normally you just don't give them a score. You don't give them a score. You can't change the rules on them. Okay. All right. You ain't going to get no score. Okay, we, we're gonna, we already know. Because we can tell them what they need to improve or what's good about it. You just want to score them. Not steal beats. That would be at the top of that list. All right. First video of the day is the video that Spank was referring to. <laughs> Artist who goes by the name of XP9. And the name of this joint is Led Zeppelin, or just Zeppelin for short. And it features Millie Red. Yes. Okay. Since um. Oh, can so I, let me jump start? in. Let me, let me jump all the way in on this one. Let me. I, I, Y'all can Google this one. W D A Head. I don't even know who the hell he is. Um. And I, and I didn't know who he was until I saw his name in the bottom of your YouTube video, which is usually a dead indicator that someone has claimed the rights to this video because they own portions of it. So I clicked after listening to the song twice. And I was like, do I really want to review this? Something, something, what's, what is this? Let me click on this link. Clicked on the link, did a little um, uh, Google, YouTube search, and here your beat is um, on somebody else's track. Now, your beat was dropped. You, you dropped your video in, a, in April. This video of WD Head's Mike Vick song came out in February. So you had, that was a clean two month clearance. Now again, we have had these same discussions on this show multiple times about how you guys need to ensure that you are clearing your beats. TuneCore does not do a clearance at all. TuneCore doesn't, when, and this is one of the fallacies of TuneCore, when you're uploading your music, if that music is somewhere else and you don't tell them it's, it might be somewhere else, then they will go ahead and clear it, run it through, and then they'll put it up. I think you went through TuneCore, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm looking at the bottom of your YouTube video, if I'm trying to go off of memory. Either way, this could be another one of them cases to where the producer leased that same beat to multiple folks. Um, I don't know. But because I think this did get released by you as an officially put out through a distributor, there's a lot of red flags there. There's a lot of 
um, professional music industry red flags for me there. Like, what? why are you not having exclusive beats? Why are you not dealing with producers that you know are making those beats either in front of you or they you, you trust them enough that whatever you're going to get from them is not going to be recycled uh, from some shit that they had a couple of years ago or something that potentially might be floating out there and somebody might get. Those are the true exclusives. Somebody that's going to create for you in front of you or you trust them and their work regardless of however long that you've been working with them. But ideally, it needs to be somebody that you can work with in front of you. I, I'm... I'm no longer going to tolerate, and this is me dealing with the producers over here. I'm no longer going to even attempt to tolerate the half-assedness from the producers. This ain't no Millie Red and this ain't no XP9. Um, this is all on the producers over here. If you guys are recycling your beats, you need to tell the fucking artist. If and if and even if it isn't a an exclusive, if it is a lease for this price one day, and then the next day you see the same beat that you have released and it's still on the website. And you know, that, so there's a potential that it could be released again, even though you just leased it. Like those are not the type of practices that we need to do. And this, this is atypical bullshit practices that we deal with over in core hip hop. I'm not even going to attempt to tolerate it over here. Like I'm not, I'm not shortchanging it. I'm not going to uh, uh, beat around the bush. Like this is, shit that don't need to be happening over here because there's already a small window of producers but you can network with any of these guys and they can make make a beat for you on the spot like that there isn't a there there's there's no excuse for this not going not in our second year not going 170 some episodes in like ain't ain't i'm not even finna you ain't getting the score I, and I'm not even going to critique the 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 flow. I'm not going to critique the 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 mumble rap. I'm not going to critique any of that because this isn't a real song. And I am only going to review real songs from real artists that are over here. So whenever y'all want to send me something that falls within those parameters, then I will jump right in and give you my full critique. Until then, this is not even going to get anything from me other than that. What I just said. You told me I was getting too soft. Okay, okay. No, no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying is you kind of you kind of just contradicted yourself. Uh, well, I, I gotta get you something. said it's not on the artist. You started out by saying it's, it's not no, on it's, the artist, it's you're on right. the producer for doing this bullshit, but then you ended up saying, I it no. I'm just saying I agree. If I'm artist, I agree. If I'm I agree. artist right now, I'm mad at you. He should be mad at me, but then you need to be mad at me and take the words what I said verbatim. Now, I wasn't shooting, shooting any shots at you. You need to listen to what I said. I am mad at the producer. The end all be all, all this falls back on the artist and making sure that you are getting quality work that is unique to you. This always comes back to the artist, but this started with the producer. This is This, I, this beat's probably out there four or five times if we got it twice, you know, ain't no telling how many other people have claimed the same thing or how many times that producer put the beat out there. I don't know. But th this is, we can't do this, Big. We can't do this. Well, let, let, let me show them some love. Okay, you show well, them let me, let me, because what you're saying is right. First of all, shame on the producer and shame on the producer who do it and then come back and claim it because not only if the artist gave you some money, you just stripped them of being, you just stripped them of being able to make money on the tube. Agreed. So you really, you really, you really got money going in. You got it coming and going. You got the money coming and going. You got it right. coming mm -hmm. in the door and going out the door. Artists done done their thing, paid for their studio time, shot them a little video, spent their money, and think, well, maybe I can get my little money back off my YouTube views. No, because you done filed the goddamn copyright claim. Well, he didn't or, do this. The, the other artists did. It was filed yeah. for you. Right. Somebody got it. Somebody got it. Yeah. Somebody getting paid, but it ain't. It ain't it ain't XP9. No, no. So for that XP9, I'm gonna tell you my opinion. And I, I agree with Spank. I'm mad at more mad at the producer, but I didn't know it was a Jack B. I don't I don't I didn't look at that. So I'm gonna give you my opinion. All right. First thing I noticed was XP9 looked like a skateboard. Yeah. And he had a skateboard look, so I didn't expect him to rap. Actually, with the fact that Millie Red rapped first, 
I thought XP9 was going to say. Okay. Um, and I don't say that to hold it against him because we don't have a traditional rapper look now. I just didn't expect him to rap. Now, Millie Red, who is always entertaining to me, um, he had his normal, smooth flow. Um, I thought they auto-tuned his voice a little too much to me on Millie Red's side of things. Okay. Um, when it comes to the engineering aspect, um, this wasn't as crisp as most of the stuff we hear from Millie Red. So I feel like maybe they use XB9 people. Um, okay. you know. um, now, funny thing is, he also had that emo rap flow. Like oh, yeah, hook. he had the, yeah, yeah, he had he the definitely. emo-ish hook. So I was right. very, very shocked when XB9 started to rap because his hook had a completely different tone than his rap. His right. rap was borderline baritone, and they tried to auto-tune the baritone sounding voice, and it sounded crazy to me. Okay. It sounded a little different. It actually sounded like two different people. So I don't know if XP9 initially done the hook or just done the hook for the shooting of the video, but it actually sounded like two voices. Um, I think that's dope in theory on other songs. Um, I just thought they didn't have to put the effect on his voice on the verse because it was deep. Okay. Um, I actually like the downtown. They had some downtown scenes. And it was I making. Liked, huh? That was making. Yeah, so I was going to say this. Yes. I was cool with the downtown scene. Um, and the reason I knew it was making, because you told me it was making in the Millie Red video. So it made me right. wonder, did they shoot this video the same day? Because... And, uh, and the other, the outside stuff, I think that was at the Indian Mountains. That's a, and then there's a skate park scene. Mm -hmm. That's the making park, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I ain't mad at him. XP9 definitely is in your area. Um, I rushed through making a lot. But next time I rush through making, I probably try to look you up. Maybe we can take a pic. Um, I look forward to hearing more music from you. Uh, you is definitely, this is definitely a, we've only heard this kind of emo-ish type of flow in country rap a couple of times that we reviewed. Um, I welcome you to send more videos in. I agree with Spank. Make sure that, you know, you have some type of agreement with the producer that we don't have your beat out there a lot. Now, now imagine if this was a banger and now you can't do nothing with it. Like, they, that would be the... When I look at stuff, I'm always thinking about worst case scenarios. Like, damn, you know, if, if it's just a cool song or cool vibe that you're trying to throw out there, oh, that's that's okay. So it's not that much of a loss. But if this was your single, this is the one that you finna push, and then you realize, oh shit, this beat been claimed. You know, that I'm trying to spare you guys from that anguish because I've felt it in my career. Like, y'all don't want to go through that. So y'all understand everything that, we, that I'm talking about here. These are my truths but they're from my experiences that I don't want anybody over here to have to go through. So definitely um, understand it's all love that I'm giving to you guys. And I want you guys to make sure that you are correcting these patterns of behaviors before they get worse, because you don't want this to be something that you push in a, your featured single and you realize you can't do anything with it because somebody already claimed to be. All right. All right. Next up. Next up. Um, it's an artist we reviewed him before. He goes by the name of Cowboy Killer. And the name of this joint is 4AM. It was directed by Maury Media. And um, I'm going to start off by saying I ain't like this. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? How? How? How, Sway? <laughs> You like this song? Bro, this got a funky ass vibe. I love this. This is, it's a, it's not traditional. It's definitely not your traditional vibe that's over here. But this, this, the instruments and in this shit, they were jamming on this one. They were probably high and drunk. I, and, well, he said he was on acid. So they was probably doing all of that shit when they made this song. This is a good vibe. I like the video. I like the party in the desert scene. I like the incorporation of the, the fire. I was waiting for somebody to do some you know, the fire eating and blowing the fire out the mouth. All oh, that was really, really cool. Hadn't seen that in country rap. You know, I really even liked even more was the band on the back of the pickup truck. Yeah. I liked the visual. I just did not like the song. It was just, it was just, it was just blah to me. I don't think it was whack. I just didn't like it. I wouldn't tell people not to listen to it. 
It just wasn't my cup of tea. I really enjoyed the visual, though. I really if, did if, enjoy the visual. I think if they like Cooley Booley, they were like this. Because Cooley Booley does a lot of blues type shit in his music and even plays some of that stuff. This guy is very heavy on instrumentation first and lyrics and all that other stuff second. So this is, I, I bet he has a band. I'm, I'm willing to bet that he has a live band that he can play with and he wanted to implement the band in the band in this as much as he could. And based on the instrumentation, how the hook went, like this, this is this is a good, this is a greatly produced record. I, I didn't even really give a shit about the video, truth be told. I, I really was listening to the music and the construction of what they were doing with everything. And I was overwhelmed with joy. Now, and it might be just with me being the producer that I am and me respecting instrumentation. Was it, is this, or was this, or can it be even considered country rap? I'm leaning on a hard hell no. But because it was by Cowboy Killer and he's done some other country rap stuff and he's rapping in it, but this ain't, this ain't your normal vibe for country rap, folks. I'm just going to tell you that. There's nothing else that you've ever heard that is like this song over here. The closest you might have heard would have been the Put Some Country in it from West 10. And that was only based off of the instrumentation and the production style. Don't you um, put them two in that same it's way. Just, it's just because of the production value. That was it. That was it's, it, ain't, it ain't the same vibe of a record. It ain't the same tempo. None of that. It's just the, I think Paul Paul Fresh would appreciate this song because of the instrumentation that they got going on and all the other shit. That, there's some to remove the rap. This is a great record. Maybe the rap also. I didn't. I just. I didn't feel like he put a lot into the rap. It wasn't a lot into the rap. He repeated the hook twice after the first time. Like it was. It was a very long song, but I think it was more of a vibe. This is. This is country. I said country killer. Cowboy killer. Is a vibe. I, I'm, I'm, I'm. I love his artistry. I, I like what he got going on. I don't know why in the hell this video only had 600 views. It does, it demands to have more uh, uh, because uh, of the instrumentation. People felt like me and they didn't watch it twice. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I think the, I think the industry people like DJs, <laughs> other producers, y'all will, y'all will appreciate this. I think this is worth it 1,000. percent Watch the video again. I gave this a 20. And I, and I gave you most of that because of I really didn't critique your lyrics. I did hear the acid trip and shit and all the other stuff in there. But I, only, I listened to the instruments more than I listened to your lyrics. Now, had I went back and broke the song down, because the song was constructed very, very weird. It went verse, hook, hook, verse, hook, and then like bridge. And it was like you were high. Um, but I, I, I respect the instrumentation. Uh, maybe I'm stretching with the 20, but I'm giving... You oh, that, oh, if you're stressing with the 20, I mean, you I, not, I think I'm stressing with the 20 based off of the construction of it. I will probably give you a 19, but I think you deserve a 20 because of the instrumentation. But it, this is that's just the formulation of the song ain't, ain't, ain't the vibe, but the entire song is the vibe. This is definitely one that you got to listen to when you done got you a little greeny green and you got a little something to sip on and you just want to chill. This is one of those vibes. You want to pop something? Yeah, you won't. Yeah, yeah, you might or, or run across a line or two. That's but that ain't me. That that's that's what y'all do. I don't I don't do none of that. But this this is a good good record. I don't know if he's rookie of the year. Did he come out last year? Did we review him last year? No, we reviewed him this year. He he definitely is rookie of the year contention. Okay, he he he's at the top of that list because he's he's putting out product. He's on the list. Okay, cool. cool. I'm at the top of. It. All right. <laughs> well, we ain't got many rookies. That's, that's the issue. <laughs> Florida Dolphins is a rookie. He's at the top of the list. He needs some more product. I ain't got. He one. has more. I just we. I got to get to him. Okay. There All are right. a bunch All of right. videos. I'm. I'm slacking. Okay. I'm slacking. Okay. All right. Next video up. And I don't even. Oh, it must be that dude. <laughs> I just feel like you finna take the gloves off. Oh, no. He got a 19. Next video. <laughs> they coming off, though. For the video guy. It ain't on. You it ain't on. You know what I'm talking about. Next video. You're right. You're right. Um, 
You know what? I'm gonna I'm go with my least favorite of the next two songs. Next two songs. Next video is by a guy who I always champion for this guy. I always, always, always champion for this guy. Right. It's Mr. Anthony B. Smoke. And the name of this joint is Redneck Romeo. It was directed by, are you rolling your sleeves up for this one? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <I am. laughs> it was directed by Indies Media Solutions. And I've always wanted to interview Anthony B. Smoke. And I'm going to go second. Okay. All right. You go first. Well, well, matter of fact, my review is going to is going to be a cleanup. From, from the very first time that we saw Beast Mode, we said that he needs to be targeting ladies. Yes. They, 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 and I, let me, let me, I'm going to talk to the management because I'm, I'm tired of talking to Beast Mode and then Drake and then this producer. I'm going to talk to your manager. Drake didn't shoot this one. No, no, sir. No, sir. Because, because, because the coloring in this one is off. Um, the coloring in here made it look camcorderish, and we don't want that effect being put out there because now it looks raw. Uh, and I, this is probably done with an HD well, 4K camera. But again, the, the issue with 4K is because of the clarity is so clear. If you don't put the right effect of coloring or the right mood on it, then it, it gives you that. I'm walking around with one of them fat ass camcorders that you stick a tape in, and it gives you that quality. And we don't want that. Um, so that that was the that's the one point that you lost on this. Everything else, um, I think we're they're heading in the right direction. And we again back to what I said about management and uh, and giving us giving our advice. We want him to gear gear his stuff towards the ladies. In this one, he's courting a female. You know, female gets kicked out. Um, daddy's like, you know, you ain't finna hang with that 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 hooligan. You know, if you're gonna choose him, then you get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> We've all probably heard that before um, or probably have said it, but the, the this wasn't enough beast mode. Hopefully none of us are old enough to have said it. <laughs> well, well, no, I've said it. I, I've told my child, like, you're going to act like, you know, I, okay, I, I, we'll talk about that later. Um, this ain't enough. Beast mode, I, I see that. I see you trying and, and management. I see the direction that y'all trying to go because this is the direction we've been saying since day one, but this ain't enough. Like what would have, and this is the advice that I would give it to you guys. There was, oh, first of all, when you are fucking, don't do your rap out. Like one, what, what, I don't know why that had to happen, but you are fucking and you are rapping in her mouth. Like, bro, <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't look at the camera. He, he's still looking at her. They are supposed to be stroking on the bed and he's still rapping. Like, bro, dude, no, no video guy. You ain't never done that? No, I ain't never rap no lyrics, so I'm not fucking. Even if it's my song, I'm still not gonna do it. I mean, he might not be rapping. He might be like, no, bro. It was it was his lyric. Killing it, killing it, killing it, killing it. He might have been chanting. It was his lyrics, bro. No, no, no. When that's at the that's at the top of the do not do list, bro. Don't when 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 you fucking don't do your lyrics. You know, you could. There's other times that you can do the rap out, but you ain't got to do it while you're stroking. Okay, before that, be between by the time that you started humping, there was a hot tub scene. There was a you at the at the truck and you just talking shit to her scene. Like there was all these opportunities where you could have looked more of a romancier or someone that is trying to court. And still not just court her. I understand what y'all were doing in the video. It was about you and her. But there are hundreds of millions of other females that are looking at this. Yeah, they want to be her, but give them a little bit more of you so they make themselves to be in her position. They were probably envisioning uh, themselves being you know, in the bed while you were rapping with them. But they was probably envisioning the whole... Oh, he reaching around and he popping the bra with one 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 finger. You got to be a pro to be able to do that. By the way, you know I'm, I'm experienced. Yeah. One finger clip that motherfucker off. But, but, but based on Vic's smile, he's the pro too. He know how to do it too. Yeah, yeah, these are things that. Okay, I get that part, but we needed more of you. We needed more of maybe some waist up shots of you 
rapping to the camera in a seductive way or rapping to the camera in a way that you were talking to her while you were at the truck. This was a very good effort, but I still think to, if this wanted to go over the top and you wanted to be like, well, yeah, I'm, I'm that motherfucker, like I'm the shit, like then you should have been shirtless more. They should have shown more of you close up in your face, all different angles. And they probably should have let you flex some more, do some maybe some slow-mo scenes of just you and your muscles and the tats, because that, that's the uh, attraction that we're trying to pull out there, especially we're trying to sell records. Had you had uh, those elements, then I think this record would have been definitely a 20, but uh, well, no, it wouldn't have been a 20 because the coloring was still an offset. Those would have off, may, well, would he have done it better? Maybe, 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 I, I, as I'm thinking it out loud. But this is this is exactly the right audience. It's just you're not quite there yet. It's a very good step towards it, though. Better production, better flow, love the cadence. You know, you, you getting your LL Cool J on. I love all of that, but we need more of you as the product. And I know they see enough of that shit on TikTok and Instagram and all your social medias. But treat this, treat this vehicle, this video, like none of those other people have ever seen you. And this is their introduction to you. So you need to give your all every time. Um, I'm going to be honest. You actually just shocked me. Like you just, I really thought you was going to give this video the business. Oh, no, no, no. It wasn't a bad, bad video. Other than the coloring, that was it. This is, this is what we've been wanting from him. I don't know what's going on with me today. Because out of all the Andy Beast Mode songs I've ever heard, this is my least favorite. Because you like aggressive, mad Anthony Beast Mode. But no, but I've been one to one champion for him going for the ladies. I just, I felt like this song was over auto tune. I feel it like definitely it was, was over. Over auto tune. I did like the video. Um, him and the girl had great chemistry. Um, I liked the blurs on the camera. Like, I wondered, did she really go topless? Because there's a lot of blur. Because they had the hot tub scene, but mm -hmm. they had the shower scene. You completely left out the shower scene. I forgot about the shower scene. Yeah. And, and, and then they had the her riding him scene. And and all oh, he was rapping then too. <laughs> he was rapping. Then. He's probably trying to, you know, keep from early, you know. You gotta concentrate. You gotta concentrate. That's how you do it. Yes. Riding the bike, riding the bike. Riding the bike. Riding <laughs> no, the bike. you do the ABCs. That's you do. You do it real slow. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you beast mode, you rap your song. Um, but I like. I actually like the video. I just wasn't a fan of the song. Okay. Okay. Um, and I and and it's definitely in that right direction. Yes. But we've seen more of beast mode chess in his aggressive songs. You're right. It is sexy. So now I'm like, I'm confused. You're right. You're right. And the song's right. geared for the guys you ripped up. And this is for the ladies. Right. You, I mean, they got the scene where they get out the hot tub and they're going up the stairs with the towels on. Beast right. Mode should have had a close up dripping wet. Uh, and all of that. Yes. He, yes. he should have yes. had women watching the video saying, I wish that was me. Right. Um, right. I love the cabin scene because anyone who knows me know that, you know, I do the cabin thing two three times a year that actually looked like a cabin that i've rented before i'm sure it isn't but i love the cabin i thought it was a really sexy shot it was right. too many it was too many shots of the empty bed though there was about three shots of the empty bed i'm like we don't need of the right. unlaid covers right right That's right I'm like, mm -hmm. i got the shot in the corner of the boots and the clothes i was i got that i just didn't understand the the, the camera zoom in on the empty bed well that was what are the few zoom ins you got? Because everything else was at least four or five feet away from everybody. Like you didn't get a whole lot of up close with of him. I think I understand you're creating a sexy element with and the chemistry between you and the girl. Right. I think the women would still appreciate it even more because it's Beast Mode's video. The girl got just as much camera time as Beast Mode. And That's true. And we should have seen more beast mode because he should have been placing those women in positions of envy. Right. They should have been envying that woman by seeing more eye candy-ish beast mode. Agreed. 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 Um, agreed, agreed. 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 Love the concept of the song. He actually used Redneck Romeo in the last song. So I knew it was a good idea for it to lead to a song. 
I just felt like this song was heavily auto tuned. The auto tune auto-tune. was to cover up that he can't sing. But I wasn't even mad at auto tune because if not, then you would have heard some some octaves that he can't hit. So auto tune the shit out of him, please. But I mean, he still needs to do. I don't think the auto tune need to be on the rapping for sure, but on the singing, yes. But I I I I need more. The management or the or the branding or whatever is happening over there, they're headed in the right direction. If they can keep doing this and keep growing then we will have the perfect Anthony B. Smoke that we need, that we deserve, that the genre absolutely demands. Um, there's got to be a ladies' man over here. There has to be. Um, but, you know, other than that, I like it. I love the video. I love the flirtatious X-rated feel in the video with the blurring. Right. The chemistry was really, really cool. Um, I just wasn't feeling the auto-tune in the song. Gotcha. Um, especially when I heard him say Redneck Romeo in the last song. I thought it would be a perfect, like this should have been, Redneck Romeo should have been an out of the park song to me. I agree. It should have been out of the park. Home run, it's a home run title. It, it, it fits into what we've been saying, Anthony B. Spoke needs to be, he needs to be Mr. Redneck Romeo. Agreed. This might have should have been a song that maybe he pulled some more people in, in the production side of things, mm-hmm. made this, like this is a, this is a album this is a title to a project. Right. You know what I'm saying? This is a, a, a February around Valentine release type joint. Like, I just feel like this song should have been sexier. And the song just let me down because my expectations, my expectation, when I seen Redneck Romeo official video, my expectations was through the roof. Video okay. on point, I just, the song let me down. And okay. I'm still a huge Beach Mode fan. You just making me think now, Beach Mode, you ain't in the gym like you used to be. Because this is the second video on the road and we've talked about you having your shirt on too much. <laughs> you doing the sexy videos for the ladies with the shirt on. Take that thing off, sir. Pause. All right. Oh, oh. <laughs> Last video of the day. And I'm going to say this. From... Video is by Mr. J. Webb. All right. A person sent me this record. It was like, you got to hear this. You got to hear this. J Webb is killing it over on TikTok. Okay. He's killing it over on TikTok. Um, for those who follow me on TikTok or on Instagram, y'all know I do the keep it a sweep of the song of the day. Um, he's had a couple other songs featured in my song. Here's one song you need to listen to today. He's been featured on there a couple times. But this record, I watched him as he started to build this record on TikTok. So I was so. My co-worker came in and said, hey, man, this, he, he finally done it. He finally done it. Jay Webb is a hard worker because Jay Webb, he was teasing this record, like making it in the studio. Okay. The machine. And I'm 30 days later, if 30 days, he has a song streaming everywhere and video dropping the same day. Now, mm-hmm. I, maybe he structured it that way, that, but it don't matter. That's the way to roll it out, Jack. Okay. He rolled it out perfect. And I'm going to say the name of the song is Yeehaw. And I'm going to start by saying this song right now for me is in contention of song of the year. Okay. I'm writing that down. This song makes me feel the exact same way New Boot Goofing did by Mr. Ryan Charles. And for those who don't know, Ryan Charles was featured on American Song Contest with Snoop Dogg and Kelly Clarkson. He lost week one. But the song and his personality was so popular, he got voted back in. I didn't know that. Yes, I didn't even, because when I forgot to tell you, yes, he got okay. put off the week one, but he got a week two, but he got voted back in in the um, final eight. Okay. So, but he's still, that's a good look for country rap, for all the people who don't feel country rap is legit. Country rap has been on a national platform over the past eight weeks. On American Song Contest, and he's representing, um, I can't remember where he's representing, so I don't want to say. Miss, is Miss it Wisconsin? Wisconsin? I think, yeah, I think so. it's Wisconsin. Well, that's both saying Wisconsin, it got to be. Ain't no way we're both wrong just off the top of our head. <laughs> this song is up there with that. Let me find out Jay Webb is a plant. <laughs> this, this video is too damn clean. We and, were just, we were just talking about this. Bro. See, I've been okay. My co worker told me about this guy. 
Uh, and when, when people tell me about it, I, I'm like, man, this, this guy's kind of cool, but he sings. Right. So when he's, he's like, he had a video, he's like, baby, I think I just made a dope rap song. And I'm like, hold up. And everything he's shooting at home. Okay. But I'm telling you, he's killing TikTok. And I watched him. And he done the beat one time. Next time he put the little hook. And then next thing you know, boom, everything lines up. Everything. Okay. When I watched the video, I'm like, this video to me is borderline flawless. <laughs> He's drinking whiskey, no label. Right. Only thing in this video was the um Bass Pro hat. Right. He's definitely rocking that. They might have gave they might have gave him the hats because he had on multiple colors. We might work there or something. Yeah, but the video, man, he shot you to tell us the one scene video. But he's he's got the banjo. Like, bro, there's nothing I can really say negative about it to the point where I felt like it was so clean, he might be signed. You well, look I, I look. I look for the signing. He ain't signed. You, you look on iTunes. Um, no. I can do it while you talk. J. Webb, um, video shows he's, he's got the, he's got the little banjo. He's got the little cool boots. Like every everything about J. Webb says superstar. This Boy. song is a rap singing style, but it's for those people who who are caught between country rap. And country, like both sides will like this record. Um, it's anthem type record. The bass line in this record is so daggone funky to me that like, that's what made me say this to me is potential song of the year. Well, he's getting hella strings. Yes, he's got other records, Country Girl. Like he's got record, like he's killing it on TikTok and it's driving people to his. His his streaming sites. Is this the guy that started out during the coronavirus? My wife was telling me about some dude that started out making music doing country rap, country and rap during COVID and blew up. And people just started loving him. I I, I don't know if this is him or not. Oh no, but I really, I really, I really like I like. How he blended the singing and rap. You can tell he's not a rapper, but he pulled it off perfect. And I hope he stays in this lane because the songs I've heard about him all have that sing rap feel. What was the dude that you was telling me about that was on TikTok that blew up from making rap songs and or song songs? You remember who that was? Was it this dude that we got in our list? J Webb. No, wrong dude. I don't know. Okay, all right. I had to ask the wife because she she sends us more stuff than we discover. <laughs> uh, yes, I just realized that there were songs fresh out of the inbox that we have not even that I just sent over to you about ten of them. Yeah, I'm not all now. Hell, be on it. Uh, she she be. I guess they'd be in the inbox. Oh, 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 don't, don't play that. Um, I'm, I'm bro, trying to see if he's... I don't see any... I don't see anything that says industry. You don't think... What's your opinion on I think he's dope. I love the production. Thanks, babe. Um, I love the production. I got confused when the EDM slash house slash dance drums kicked in after each hook. But when they went away... Well, them being there, it didn't take away from the song. I just thought it was a little weird. Like, we but we haven't had a lot of songs over here that done that. We also didn't have a lot of songs over here that dropped the bass like you did it, you know, and had the banjo, you know. So, it, and, and it wasn't, wasn't a little bass. Like, somebody took the time to do the right productions. It might have been an AO8 bass, but I'm not sure. I have to go ahead and analyze all of the kicks and the snares and all that other stuff. But this is very well produced and the video was damn good and as i'm seeing his numbers he's streaming more than a lot of you other some bitches that are over here so i'm may i don't know maybe he's just a country guy country artist and trying to slide over by doing some rap kind of like um what's his name david morris yeah he's got a stupid ass fan base you know so i don't 
maybe maybe he's one of those guys that's just experimenting with a little rap. J Webb is streaming 76,000 monthly listeners. Those are little numbers for over here in country rap. Um, and in comparison, let's just see what David Morris is. David Morris is streaming 508,000 uh, monthly listeners. So in, in his, he's, he doesn't look like a rapper, neither does J Webb. These guys, and you mentioned Ryan Charles, they're, they're all on the same path or in the same pocket. Like they're just these guys that make, good music and it is the perfect blend of country and hip hop this is perfect blend of 2000 maybe 2010s hip hop because this bass in here this is probably some shit he grew up on he was like you know what? i'm gonna drop, i'm gonna drop some an instrument of you know maybe some bass that i listen to and 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 throw some rap into it this is a good record i i didn't it was nothing negative about this was perfect for me um i did not think this was I thought it was video of the year, um, but uh, you know, you added it the song of the year. I'm not mad at that either because the video was perfect. It wasn't a whole lot of craziness it to it. Put it you down. Know? It wasn't a whole lot of craziness to it, but he, 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 it was like a white screen scene. It was a scene he shot outside, threw some effects on it, and there was another scene. It's like, you know, not, let's not spend a lot of time on this. Probably spent flag, two hours American shooting. Flag scene. Right. And then he had the, I mean, he doesn't look like a rapper. But he's he's spitting, you know, and it, and it ain't that you know don't take a don't don type of flow. He came with it like with some real flow and with some real rhymes. I really like this guy. Like if if he can stay on this trajectory, um, he would Cowboy Killer and him. Jay Will got to go very similar. He's got to go Rick Eddie. Both of them are right there in that pocket, bro. Not together. I'm talking about as in the the new type of music that we're getting for country rap is these guys, the J Webs, the Cowboy Killer, the SMG Jimmy. It's like a a hybrid of both the country and the rap, and they're blending it together perfectly. Like I'm 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 anxious to hear more from both of them. Truth be told, like I got it, and definitely Ryan Charles, but he's probably a foot in the in the door, you know, with the industry. And I'm yeah, not mad at Ryan, that. Ryan will be getting a deal. Oh, absolutely. He needs it. He deserves it. He deserves it. Absolutely. Um, this is good shit. Uh, um, Jay Webb, did you find other videos by him? Uh, yes. Okay, good. Okay, so we'll be reviewing them. Well, well, I'll go back and grab some of the others. Um, the reason I started with this one is because it was more rapish. The other ones are more singish, but it's still geared. Like country rap fans can definitely rock with Jay Webb. Jay okay. Webb. Okay, okay. So I think he's a dope new talent to, for us to keep an eye on. Okay. But there's a new generation of country that you could tell grew up on hip hop. Yes, yes. And probably grew up on good country rap. Yeah. All right. Sponsor time oh, on the shit. show. I'm sorry. I'm a little late in my bad. <laughs> as soon as you said, all right, I was like, oh, uh, let me get over here. Exit. I closed out my tabs and shit too. I should know this by heart by now. But yeah, man. Um, I don't know, man. Some, I don't know. This is a very different show to me because uh, yeah, it was because I was excited to hear the redneck. Romeo record, and I think my expectations were way too high. Um, Cowboy Killer impressed me so much on the last one that I think my expectations were way too high. Um, I love Millie Red. I love Millie Red, and um, my expectations were really, really high. And Jay Webb just came through and killed it. <laughs> With no expectations. No expectation. Actually, that was an expectation, but he done the right thing by building an expectation through TikTok for me. I watched the journey of this record. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Like, he he created a perfect storyboard on TikTok. Even if that wasn't a real storyboard, it was very, very smart how he done it. And all his fans will feel like they were part of the journey of this record, because that's how I feel. That's dope. That's good marketing. Very good. That's why I said I don't know. Say well might be signed. Okay. Um, 
Well, it's time for the project shout out. This portion of the Country Rap Forward is brought to you by Asset Distribution. Asset Distro is a best in class music distribution platform for labels, artists, and rights holders. Distribute your music worldwide while cutting out the middleman and retaining 100% ownership of your content. Log on to www.assetdistro, that is A-S-S-E-T-D-I-S-T-R-O.com to sign up today. All right, tell them what that percentage they retain again. They might 100%, 100% ownership. And, and, and Brown will help you get your stuff registered with your PRO, which is your performing performance rights organization, SoundScan, SoundCloud, no, <laughs> BMI, ASCAP, or CSAC, which are the three biggest ones. But if you have another pub, he will help register all of your new stuff that you're going to put with Asset and all of your previous stuff that existed before Asset. He'll help you get all of that registered. All right. I had to take it back for this project shout out. All right. This is a gentleman who was definitely killing the scene and he disappeared. I'm not sure where he's at now, but he goes by the name of Mini Thin. Mini Thin. And the name of this joint is White Trash Incorporated Mixtape. Bruh, okay. I saw uh I saw where are they now like thing for him. And I was, and immediately I was like, who the fuck is this? Mini you know? Thin was killing it. <laughs> I know. 2013, 2016, he was killing it. I bro, don't know had, where, bro got it. like triple digit millions of views, bro. But he's back. Oh, he's back? back. I mean, I've been seeing posts of him recording on okay. Instagram, so he's definitely back. So that has made me go back and listen to his music. He had a song called Meth Labs that was really, really big um, in 2013. But this was the White Trash Incorporated mixtape. Now, okay. let me tell you why I like this. First of all, it was released October the 5th. That's my daughter's birthday. Shout out to Ashley. October the 5th, 2016. <laughs> okay. It was 17 songs, 41 minutes, and 43 seconds. Okay. Many things done with a lot of, I feel like, more country rap artists should do. This project, White Trash Incorporated Mixtape, is a complete beat jack mixtape. Okay. okay. He took industry beats and slaughtered them. Well, we know right? about beat jacket. We know about beat jacket. Boys, Boys in the Hills. Boys in the Hood? Yes, sir. I love okay. that one. That okay. was one of my favorite. He done a deep cover remix. Okay. Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre. Um, he had role model, um, role model remix. He had Country Creeping, Mind Playing Tricks on Me. Every one of these songs was a country rap flip of a pop or hip hop song. Because he's That's done cool. pop songs as well. It's very, very entertaining mixtape. Very, very entertaining mixtape. My man is no slouch on the microphone. And um, just see, just to listen to it, to see how he basically gave his portrayal of these records, I thought was really, really dope. A lot of them, he kept the same names, like Give Me a Sign, but then he had like Burning, Burning Couches, Traveling Down This Road, On the Bus. But all the beats are beat jacks, but with many things twists. Okay. And like I said, my favorites are Boys in the Hill and the Deep Cover and the Mind Plan Tricks. Those were my three favorites. He murdered those beats. Gotcha. All right. Mini Thin, White Trash Incorporated Mixtape, released 2016. That is your project shout out. Here's you, Mini Thin. Cheers. Hmm. Woo. I done got me another bottle of that bird dog. Salted caramel. Salted caramel. Okay. Time to recap. That one made me feel good. Start everything off with XP9. The name of the song was Zeppelin or Led Zeppelin, whichever you choose. Uh, Spank chose not to give that a review because that is a beat jack. And guess what? In doing my recap, I can't even tell you guys where to follow XB9, because I cannot find him on Instagram. <laughs> so you can definitely follow Millie Red at Millie underscore Red, M I L L I E underscore R E D D. He is featured on that joint. Let's get him up to 1500. Okay. Then we had Cowboy Killer with this 4 AM. All right. You can follow him at G 
GFL Cowboy. GFL Cowboy. Let's get him up to 15.5K. The next video after that was Mr. Anthony Beast Mode with Redneck Romeo. And you can follow him at Mr. Beast Mode 38601. Mr. Beast Mode 38601. M R B E A S T M O D E 38601. Let's get him up to 37K. Okay. And the last video of the day was by Mr. J Webb. And the name of that joint was Yee Haw. And we can follow him. Or you can find him on the gram at J Web Music, J A Y W E B B M U S I C. Let's push him on up to ten thousand. Okay, got it. And for those who, and for those who want, and I need to start giving this one out too. The project shout out was by Many Thin, and you can find Many Thin on the gram at Many Thin Music, M I N I T H I N M U S I C. All right, and for those who wondering, he got a mullet. Huh? Jay Webb got a mullet? Yeah. Boy, country as hell. I ain't mad at it. And shout out to Mini Thin, man. Mini Thin, it appears, just had a baby. What was Mini Thin's ID? Mini Thin Music. Okay. Following him, too. He just had a baby, it appears, on May 3rd. So, congratulations. To many thin, he just had a daughter by the name of Audrey, and he has a teaser up there to a video called "Break Your Face." Break your that, that might be why you were gone, fam. Like chill. I got a hundred and two million views on this channel. You are a walking, living legend. In this shit, like come on, bro. <laughs> hey man, many thin was um. He's from West Virginia. Many thin was. I thought initially Anthony Beast Mode and Mini Thin would be in the same pipe. Okay. Because Mini Thin music, all that music I heard is really aggressive by. Okay. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that is it for today's episode. Y'all make sure y'all visit countryrapreport.com for all your country rap report needs. Make sure, make sure it's still going on. Hashtag CRR, 16 bar challenge. Get your 16 bars in. Go to CountryRapReport.com, download the beat, record your video, and drop it. And look, for everyone who might be confused, you don't have to be following us on every form of social media. Like a lot of people hit me like, I don't have a Twitter, or I don't have a this. I'm that going to do your video. Going to do you. Going to do your video. I don't. I don't know why it wouldn't encourage you to start one, but going to do your video. If you don't want to get on Twitter, don't get on Twitter. I don't know why you don't want to be on Twitter. It's free, but if you don't want to be on Twitter, y'all, it ain't like we told y'all to follow us on fan base. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook. Aren't those are like the four big dogs? Yeah. How can you, even if you don't post, how can you not? Someone is going to get your shit. How y'all about can, that? Y'all can follow my OnlyFans, you know, it's at $9.99 a month, you know. I thought, go ahead and get that. Donate to Spike. I heard Kevin Samuels is strictly on OnlyFans. <laughs> it was a joke. It was a trick. <laughs> He's reappearing on, on, on OnlyFans. That's Everybody funny. probably like, who the hell is Kevin Samuels? I know, right? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please, let's have fun with this 16 bar challenge. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Check out some. And you know what? Spank said this off air. Hey, man, y'all can chill with the inboxes. <laughs> Chill with, chill with it. Chill with it. Mine is done. The chill with all that. <laughs> Frank said he's officially not watching any until we do the show. Right. I I'm, no, no. I'm gonna no. repost everybody's. Okay. I'm gonna so I'm when you drop them, I'm gonna repost them everywhere. Everywhere. TikTok, Twitter, my story. I'm reposting because I'm excited. So hopefully Spank won't see them because I'm reposting. Well, I got a text from Jesse B saying that she was shooting her video for hers. So hey, man. Y'all motherfuckers going to be on notice. Hey, man. It was in. Somebody hey. got to win. I, don't need, I wish I wasn't even part of the judging process. Because I feel like when you inbox me, tell me about yours, I feel like you're trying to sway me. Oh, that, that's, it. that's the main reason I don't listen to none of them. I don't listen to nothing. So your first time hearing them all 
will be when, when we, do, we the do the show. Yes, yes. Even if you see it, you're just going to stroll by. I, I keep strolling. I don't, I don't click on any. I, now, you might see me like the post if it's on Country Rap Report, but that's because, you know, I'm supporting my wife and I want to increase the algorithm. But I haven't watched anything. You ain't going to watch? Mm-mm. Will she be watching? I think she does. She's, she's going to watch them? Yeah, she's, she's been waiting for them. Okay. Yeah, because I, I seen I was excited. I was excited. I done watched it a bunch of times. And you got some views on that thing. Oh, that's what's up. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's it for today's episode. It ain't the troll, is it? No. Nah. I ain't going to watch shit by him. You know, I'm just saying. No. Nah. Okay. He, he, it would be dope, though, if it was It would be hilarious because he'd make me Oh, watch. shut up. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I, I got to go dig up this video and put it in the next show. Uh-huh. Because the artist, and I don't know if this episode has, has the Sean Paris episode aired yet? Not yet. Not yet. It's coming. Okay, well, then I ain't going to say The one where he murdered the brother? Well, the, the brother dropped the video. A reply? Nah, nah. nah. Oh, 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 shit. <laughs> but <laughs> he's he's staying his own lane. Okay, good for him. Good for him. But he did drop. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna get it on the list, and I'm gonna see if you if we're gonna say that was him. Cause no, you already told who it was anyway. It was yeah. just, it was All right, we tell you all about a video that's coming up soon. Um, ladies and boys, girls, countryreport.com. Make sure y'all visit website everything country Rare report is there wcrr there how the inboxes your ama is there everything is there and bro I, we got to figure out now i don't know why this this freshman picture is just i don't know i don't know why this stuck on my mind i guess that's something that was always on my bucket list if we can just figure out who those people are then i can get on it i'm i'm, I'm gonna be honest i'm have you ever heard of this picture called Great Day in Hip Hop? No. I'm going to try to fight it. I'm going to send it to you. And then okay. someone done an Atlanta version of one. And I What's just, it called? I, I think it's called Great Day in Hip Hop. Great Day in Hip Hop. Okay. It was just a picture where a lot of rappers just got together and took a big Polaroid, or not Polaroid, picture. And then they done one in Atlanta. And they had a lot of Atlanta artists, about 50 okay. artists. But, you know, I don't know. I've always been infatuated with the. Um, the freshman cover. And it seems like now that the double XL no longer prints, but they still do the freshman. And you know, it ends, it ends up being a freestyle series and a big concert. So I've always been infatuated with the freshman. Okay, I see a, a jazz portrait. They took it from the jazz, they took it from that concept. Okay, okay. There's a hip hop version of it. Don't. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy, Big XL. It's your dude, Spike. We are the Country Rare Report, man. Until the next episode, to the next episode, to the next episode, y'all be safe. Get those 16 bars. Yes. Appreciate y'all. Peace.